Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today, this is a quick tutorial about the object only and the shadow only effect in materials. Basically, the goal is either to see the object without its shadow or to see the shadow without the object. In the past, this was a material option, but since version 4.2, the mechanism has changed. Basically, in the newest EV, even if you turn off the ray tracer, shadows are still calculated using ray tracer related functions. Yes, this UI can be confusing and misleading, but that's how it works. In the material, you just need a light path node to call off the shadow ray, and then mix it with a transparent BSDF using a mixed shader. If you want to see only the object, you simply reverse the shadow ray value using map range. This doesn't require many nodes, but calling up two to three nodes and setting up the links can still be a bit tedious for such a simple operation. So I have made a preset called the transparent shadow ray to simplify the process. You can download it for free from the link in the description. As a side note, there is an alternative way to achieve this by turning off the shadow ray in the object properties. However, I don't use or recommend this method because I need this effect for some stylized visual effects. In this setup, for example, I have flames and the rocks join in the same object. If I disable the rocket, you can still see the rim of a shadow from the flame, which makes the foreground very dark. I don't want to disable the shadow for all of them using object property. I just need a transparent shadow for my flames. Therefore, it's much more practical to control the effect at the material level. I hope you enjoyed this video. I promise you next time. Bye-bye.